Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. I'm always the son of Nube at your service. And I'm here to update you on the processing of e-passports. That is for Zimbabweans who are based in South Africa. Uh, you will know that last week and the week before, we came here to announce that the Zimbabwean government had told uh, one of the newspapers back home that they will be rolling out or they would be rolling out the application process for the e-passport you know the new passports that were launched a, a few years ago in zimbabwe uh, and they had said that they would be rolling them out to zimbabweans who are based in the diaspora you will know that all along the e-passport application process had not yet been rolled out uh, for those that are living outside Zimbabwe, they were only available in Zimbabwe, and those that were based outside Zimbabwe were still applying for the ordinary passport that had always been uh, in service. So we announced to you that the government had said that it was rolling out the service to Zimbabweans who are based in the diaspora, and that it would begin with the processing of such applications in Johannesburg at its consulate uh, offices that is in Eden Vale. So we also came again last week and told you that the government had told again a newspaper back home that they had indeed sent people to go and train Zimbabweans uh, that work in the uh, consulate offices in Johannesburg on how to capture the applications for an e-passport. Then we had not yet got a confirmation from the government or the consulate as to if this was indeed happening. So now we do have a, a notice from the consulate and this is what we want to update you about. Uh, but before I go ahead, may you please uh, subscribe to this channel, like this video uh, and share it. Uh, so as I have said, uh, we do have now uh, a notice that is from the Zimbabwean consulate. It is in the form of a, a press statement. They haven't yet posted this on their website. So if you go to their website, you will not find it. But it is a statement that is dated 15 June 2024 and is meant to be a public notice. I'm going to read the whole notice so that you will deduce from there the full meaning without me having to paraphrase anything or to risk misinterpreting certain things. So it was a public notice. It's a public notice that was posted on the 15th of June, 2024, and it's titled "Rollout of the e-passport processing center at the consulate in Johannesburg." References made to a public notice dated 15 March, 2024, on the rollout of the e-passport processing center in Johannesburg. The consulate is pleased to advise that it has been. It has begun the gradual and phased rollout of the e-passport application process. The rollout will be in two stages and the anticipated timelines will be as follows. Phase 1, system test trial run. The rollout is currently in its first phase, which entails preliminary processes, among them training of consulate staff successfully concluded on 15 June 2024, and system test trial run period which is scheduled to commence from 18 to 21 june 2024 the trial run period will be open to a limited number of clients randomly chosen from the existing pool of clients visiting the consulate at 13a Boeing road west bedford view for passport application under the outgoing system the trial run will allow the consulate to get the level of system responsiveness and effectiveness in a real world environment before the full rollout to the public. That is phase one. The phase two uh, of the notice is that that will be the full rollout and uh, opening of the e-passport processing center to all members of the public. Before the conclusion of the system test trial period, that is 21 June 2024, the consulate will issue another public notice with information on the operation, operationalization of the e-passport center to all members of the public. Clients interested in participating in the system test trial run during the period 18 to 24 June 2024 should take note of the following conditions. 
prior to visiting the consulate, the cost of the e-passport in Johannesburg in compliance with statutory instrument 1 of 2024, citizenship passport fees amendment regulations 2024, number one, the cost of the ordinary passport shall be US $150 converted to South African runs on the basis of the previous week's average US dollar South African rand exchange rate. An additional fee of 20 US dollars shall be charged for every electronically readable passport application to obtain a quick response QR code. The same conversion rate as in one above shall apply. The e-passport application requirements will be as follows. Your original birth certificate, original identity document, that is ID, metal, plastic or paper IDs are acceptable. Passport needed if it is valid, it is not required if it is expired. Original marriage certificate for married for married women. A turnover period or date of collection of the passport in Johannesburg, the e-passport is expected to be ready for collection at the consulate after seven working days. The mode of payment for the e-passport will be communicated to all participants on selection. Please note that the trial run will run parallel to the passport application system. For further interaction with the consulate on issues of mutual interest, please use the following official channels. Facebook page, Zimbabwe Consulate, Boeing Road, Bedford View. Twitter, Zimbabwe Consulate, JHB. WhatsApp, plus 27828-249435. Email admin at Zimbabwe consulate.co.za website www.zimbabweconsulate.co.za hotline emergency line plus two seven double six four eight seven three eight zero six uh so that is the notice from the zimbabwe consulate so what they're basically saying they're also answering some of the questions that were asked by some of you as to whether those who apply for the e-passport here will also be allowed to collect them in South Africa. And the answer is in the affirmative that you apply for the e-passport at the consulate offices in Johannesburg and you can also collect them at the consulate offices in Johannesburg seven days after applying for the e-passport. So you have been answered. The e-passport can now be applied for in Johannesburg and uh, after that you can then go and, uh, and uh, collect it at the consulate what offices so uh, in Johannesburg so that is where we stand uh, as things stand right now this is where we are the passport can be applied for in Johannesburg and it can also be uh, collected in Johannesburg, but now we don't know for certain how much they will be charging for you in order for you to apply for the passport. But that is the situation as it stands uh, right now. You can go, but now if you have heard, those are the dates uh, of the phased uh, application process and uh, how uh, the applications are going to be captured and how each phase is going to be rolled out thank you very much for subscribing to this uh for listening to this broadcast don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it